Hi friends, welcome to our channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss about what is the real life usage of abstract class and interface in Java. Already in our previous video, we have discussed about how to use abstract class and interfaces in Java. So if you haven't watched that videos, the link is available in the description. So please watch it. So now let us get into the real life usage of abstract class and interfaces in Java. So by seeing this slide itself, you can able to understand or easily we can understand what should be interface in real life and what can be abstract class in real life. Let us take a very uh, simple scenario. Just assume that I plan to construct a house. So if I want to construct a house, so first of all, I will go for a uh, architect and I will get the uh, house plan. So that house plan is not a implementation it is just a diagrammatic uh, representation about my house so finally that plan house plan or that diagrammatic representation about my house is the interface so once my plan is ready so i will start constructing my uh, building i think but the skeleton nothing but i may start doing foundation and pillar and the roof so that building has some amount of definition but still it is not a complete one yes the building is having only the uh, skeleton of my house so finally that building is a partially complete one or i can say it's an incomplete one so that I will call this abstract class. So once my skeleton is ready, I will be adding some brickworks and uh, woodworks and I may apply some tiles so that I will be getting my complete house. So that is my concrete class. So finally, to make a uh, house, so first I will go for the plan. So that plan is the interface. And then with the help of that plan, I will start constructing my skeleton of my house, like foundation, pillar, all those things. I will call this building. So finally, the building is abstract class. It's a incomplete class, or I can say it's a partially complete one. So by adding extra functionality into that building, like brick works, wooden works, tiles works, and paintings, so that it will become a concrete class or a complete one which can be used by the customer or a end user the same way you can take the next scenario let us assume that you are going to a restaurant with the help of i mean with your uh, friends so once you get into the restaurant so first we will look for the menu card so that menu card is not a uh, implementation or the menu card is not a real food so but even though we are looking for the menu card so with the help of that menu card I can understand what type of restaurant is this and what are the types of foods available in this particular restaurant also what is the price of each food so, so finally the menu card is the interface so that will talk about or that will give a outline about that particular restaurant and let us assume that we plan to order a uh, biryani just assume that uh, one per one person is planned to order chicken biryani and another person is planned to order mutton biryani and another person is planned to or order uh, egg biryani as we are already familiar the restaurant will uh, the restaurant guy will have a common biryani rice 
so based on the customer demand he will add chicken pieces into that uh, biryani rice so that it will become a chicken biryani and same way for the next customer he may add up mutton pieces into that uh, common biryani rice so that it will become mutton biryani so finally that common biryani rice is a abstract class by adding chicken or mutton or egg, egg into that common biryani rice it will become a concrete class so hope friends we got some idea about what is interface abstract class and concrete class in a real life the same way you can look at our last one more scenario let us assume that we are purchasing a mobile newly so once i purchase the mobile newly in that box i will be getting the manual page so that manual page will talk about how to use this mobile so that manual page is the interface and the mobile whatever i am getting uh, in a new purchase that is actually abstract class yes by default a new mobile will come with default functionalities so once i get the abstract class or once i get the uh, newly purchased mobile with inbuilt or default functionality what i will do i may install extra app into that mobile so that it will be uh, useful for me i may include i may install uh, or i may configure email i may configure facebook for my account and i may install a uh, new uh, mobile banking application so based on my demand i will install some extra app into that uh, mobile so that it will become concrete class which is useful for me so hope friends we got idea about the real life usage of abstract class and interface you can take any real time scenario each and every real time scenario will come with these three layer so finally when we are working on a real time project so first we will plan so what are the uh, functionality i have to achieve in this project so first of all i will plan it so that plan i will call this interface in the interface i will declare what are the functionalities i am going to define so that declaration or the plan is for interface so once my plan is ready i will start defining the second layer nothing but my abstract class in the abstract class some amount of properties i will define it which is common so that property the common property i will define it in the abstract class but still some more properties are going to be vary based on my subclass so that i will keep it as a declaration in my abstract class so now i will come with a concrete class the concrete class will extend the abstract class so that it will get the common functionality and i will write the implementation for the remaining declaration part so that i will get a uh, complete application so this is a real life usage of abstract class and interface in a real time application so finally each and every real time application will come with three layer so the top level layer will be your interface and next layer will be your abstract class and the bottom layer will be your concrete class so let us write one very simple program by using these three layer to understand little more about abstract class and interface in a real time scenario let me open my eclipse let me define a interface at first we as, as we know that interface is going to be our top level layer i am just going to define a interface let it be vehicle plan it's my interface 
So in this vehicle plan interface, I am going to declare what are the functionality I am going to achieve for a vehicle. Let me declare two functionality because I don't want to make the code as more lengthy. Let me declare a first functionality number of NK as declaration. And also I want to define a functionality for a vehicle, nothing but number of wheels. So finally my application plan is ready. So these two functionality I'm going to achieve for a vehicle. So finally my plan is ready, nothing but my interface is ready. So now what I will do, I will define my abstract class. So the second layer is my abstract class. Let it be vehicle, which is implementing this plan. Yes, in the vehicle abstract class, I'm going to implement this uh, vehicle plan interface. So here in the vehicle class, so we know that in the vehicle class, I can define number of engine. Yes, each uh, all the vehicles will come with one engine, but the number of wheels I cannot define it in my vehicle class. So what I will do, I will define only number of engine, and let me write a simple uh, print ln statement to check the output. I will say I have one engine. So finally, you can look at my vehicle class. As per my plan, I have two functionality, but in the vehicle class, I can implement only the number of engine. Because the number of wheel is going to be vary based on my subclass. Maybe bike class having two wheels and car may have car will have four wheels so that's why the number of wheels i cannot define it in my vehicle class so i will keep it as a declaration so now i will go for my concrete class or the normal class let it be class by which is extending my upstate class vehicle so here because of inheritance, I will get this functionality, nothing but number of engine, but still I haven't defined number of wheels. So that I will define it in my byte class. And in the byte class, I will say I have two wheels. The same way if I have one more class, let it be car. Class car will extends vehicle and I will override number of wheels in the car class and in car class I will say I have four wheels. So like that you can uh, expand your application. So finally you can look at my application. So the top level layer is my vehicle plan, nothing but my interface which is coming with only the declaration. With the help of this declaration, I can understand what are the functionality I am going to achieve in this uh, application. So then the next layer is your abstract class, nothing but vehicle class. In the abstract class, I am implementing this plan and what are the things I can define in abstract class. Generally the common thing I can define in my abstract class nothing but number of engine which is common for all the vehicle so that I will define it but the number of field still it is declaration we have the number of fields I cannot define it right now we have the number of wheel is going to be vary based on my subclass for example by class extending my abstract class and there I will override number of field and I will say I have two wheels the same way I may have another class maybe auto auto extends vehicle there I will override number of wheels and I will say I have three wheels so finally 
as a customer or as a end user he is going to use bike object so i will be creating object of bike and the help of bike object i can invoke number of engine which is defined in my abstract class also i can if i can invoke number of fields which is defined in my concrete class or the normal class just to test our output i am just running this code you can look at the output so finally at the end we are getting bike constructy so this is the real life usage of interface abstract class and the concrete class so hope friends so we are clear about the real life usage of abstract class and interfaces in a application so thanks friends for watching this video so if you like this video please subscribe and click on the bell symbol so that as soon as i upload a new video you will be getting the notification also you can share it with your friends